The new Sony 302.8 is not just a 302.8. You can use the seldom used crop mode and get up to 452.8 without any extenders, which by the way, the 1.4 extender and the 2.0 extender are beautiful and they're sharp, but you don't need it. You can go 452.8 and you get a 21 megabyte file, which is still plenty for most people. I took this baby out for a test at some Copa America games at a kid's camp and some Austin FC games. Let's take a look and check it out. In these examples, you will see that the 302.8 option is very sharp with this new lens. From the detail in the faces to the bokeh in the background, it really makes an unbelievable piece of glass. I'm going to show you some examples with the crop mode at 452.8 right here, and you can see just how sharp it really is. Pretty much undetectable that it's at 452.8. Yes, you lose file size but you still get about 21 megabytes, which is certainly plenty big for most people and most applications. Here are some more examples of the 302.8 at sunset. You can see how crisp the faces are here as well. And at the end of the game, you can see the detail from such a distance. The amazing thing to me is that even at 452.8, like right here, the, the sharpness really just doesn't fall off. It's pretty incredible because you're shooting a entirely across the pitch in many of these cases and you're still getting incredible detail in the sharpness this kids camp that i photographed i only shot it at 452.8 with the crop mode in i wanted to test it with my first shoot and it was really an unbelievable experience not having to lug around the heaviness of the 402.8 with the cost of a 402.8 and still get additional size on your length is a great benefit to have. Finally, some more examples here of the 302.8 in the rain, which is pretty incredible detail here as well. I popped into 452.8 and you can still see the detail really holds up. One last set of examples here is one final game where I'm going to show you the 302.8 in the detail and see if you can even tell the difference at 450 like this. It's pretty incredible. In Photoshop, under File Info, you can always see your focal length right here under Shot Information. Here are some examples with the 1.4 extender. At 420 f4, you get the full frame. Pretty darn incredible. If you want to go crop mode, like the rest of this video is trying to show you, you can get 630 f4, which is pretty darn incredible and a really good case for not needing a 600 either. So I'm giving you reasons to not know, need a 400 or 600 to save the cost with this 302.8 lens. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you want more videos to help you out. And thanks again for watching. Have a cool.